Hi there, this is Renee from Floating Lights and you're watching another episode of Focus Wednesdays. And today I just wanted to show you really quickly how to dehaze a photo. So it's that time of year everyone wants their summer photos taken or their end of summer or fall photos. And sometimes the light's just not on our side. Sometimes um, depending on the angle of your camera, you're gonna get this really hazy look to your photos. And it's kind of been a pain in the butt, but there is a way to get rid of that um, using Photoshop CC or, or more specifically Camera Raw from Photoshop CC. So I've opened this raw photo into my Camera Raw. And before, I used to have to try and play around with the highlights um, to try and dehaze the photo, maybe a little bit of whites and blacks. Um, and I really had to play around with this to try and get it to look good. Um, there is a much easier way to do this now. I'm just going to reset this. And there's this tab up at the top called FX, which is FX, kind of cleverly. And it has a dehaze slider now, which is fantastic because you can slide your slider to the left and actually add a little bit of haze to your photo, um, which I don't want to do with this photo. I actually want to slide it to the right and remove some of the haze from my photo. And that's really fantastic. So it's removed a lot of the haze actually from my photo just at, at this point here. I'm going to show you the before. I'm just hitting P on my keyboard to show you the before here. And here's the after. So it has really removed a lot of this kind of white haze look from my photo. Um, it has, however, done a couple of other little things that we want to adjust. So I'm going to go back to my basics tab here. So this is the little um, like circle shutter kind of icon and you can adjust some things here. Now this image in particular, we still have a lot of highlight blown out up here. So I'm going to bring my highlights down a bit more and bring some of that back into the photo and maybe even just my whites a touch. I could play around with my exposure to see if I could get her face a little bit brighter, um, but it's kind of blowing out everything else and I don't really want that. So I'm going to actually just use an adjustment brush. So I'm going to come up to the top of my menu bar here at the top of my camera raw and use my adjustment brush here to brush some exposure just onto her specifically without blowing out the rest of the photo. So I'm going to make sure that I've selected a new adjustment brush. I'm going to bring my exposure up a little bit. Um, I'm going to cancel this out. Make sure that you're set to um, new and everything is set to zero. So I'm going to bring my exposure up a bit. I'm just going to guess around 75 and I'm just going to brush some lightness back onto her. Now I'm pretty happy with that. Um, but her skin is still a little bit orange to me. I don't like how orange her face is and kind of her arms and the insides of her legs here are a little bit too orange for me. So I'm going to add one more adjustment brush. So um, I have my little tab here that represents the one that we just did. So I can come back at any time and adjust um, my exposure there. I'm going to leave it at about 75, which I think is what it was at. Um, but I'm going to come and select new and it's going to make a new tab. This time I'm going to reset my exposure and I'm going to bring down my saturation a little bit. So I'm going to bring it down to about minus 12 and we'll just play around with it and see how that works. And I'm just going to paint some of this orange off parts of her skin that I don't want it on. And I think that's good. I mean I could adjust it a little bit more if I wanted it, her to be a little bit more pale or, or less orange. But I think around minus 12 or so. 10 to 12 was good. This is minus 13 and I'm happy with that. So here is the before again and here's the after. Now if this brought out too much of the color um, on your photo, like if this was too saturated for you, you could always use the same brush and adjust your brush size and just paint some of the saturation off that part of your photo as well. Now I'm pretty happy with that. So again, here is the before and here's the after. Now let's say for example, you didn't shoot in RAW and you shot in JPEG, but you still wanted to dehaze your photo. Um, I'm just going to open this in Photoshop 
and there is actually a way to access raw from a JPEG file. So any file that you have open, it's going to open as a background um, file here. The first thing you're going to want to do is just convert it to a smart object. So that means that you're going to be editing non-destructively and um, you can make changes in the future. So we're going to just highlight our background here. We're going to convert to smart object and then we can come up to filter and we can go to the camera raw filter. And from here, we can make all the same adjustments that we just made. So we can go to dehaze, we can bring down um, our dehaze by sliding our slider to the right. We can then make any adjustments that we need to make here. And we can do the same thing, use our adjustment brush, brush off some color, and then bring up our exposure. So again, we're getting the same sort of look here. So that is how to use the dehaze feature in Photoshop CC. I really hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, you can always email me at hello at floatinglightsphoto.com or you can find me over on Facebook at facebook.com slash floatinglightsphotography. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a beautiful day.